Nashville attackers in Burundi have set fire to a building that stored election material two days ahead of the country's parliamentary polls. According to the National Electoral Commission, the attack occurred in the northeastern district of Natega, some 200 kilometers from the capital. Now, there's no indication as to who may be responsible for the attack. A local official says part of the ballot boxes and voting booths were burned, but people could save the rest. The incident happened after opposition groups announced that they will boycott the upcoming elections due to a lack of necessary conditions. We're going to cross over to uh, London, joined by African affairs expert, Mr. Ayo Johnson. Thank you so much for being with us. What exactly, in your perspective, is going on in Burundi? I, I think Burundi is at a crossroad. Um, it's democracy that's literally on the pinch, on the edge of, of all these problems. I think uh, many of the, the people on the ground think that uh, the president should not stand for the election. They think that the elections are going to be biased. And the Protesters, especially that of the opposition, are taking that frustration onto the streets. And of course, the um, attack on ballot boxes or ballot papers being um, uh, attacked in any shape or form is only an extension of that frustration, uh, which has been built uh, and has been going on for many, many weeks now. And it, are you hopeful that actually, with the situation, they're going to be able to get a grip on exactly what's going on or not? 30 seconds, sir. Well, uh, a grip, definitely they will, there's no doubt. Law and order has got to prevail. But ultimately, I think the president finds himself at a very, very difficult position, and the security forces have got to do that much more. But I think international efforts will be put on pressure on Burundi for them to have peaceful elections uh, and, and for this process to be followed right through to the end. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Mr. Ayo Johnson, African affairs expert out of London.